we have some more patch notes, courtesy of Kotaku compiling all of them. So let's see what we got. Yandere Simulator, fixed bug that would cause teachers to stand motionless forever after witnessing Yandere Chan carrying a corpse. Probably how most teachers would react if they saw one of their students carrying a corpse, but okay. Fixed bugs that would make coconuts strip naked while reporting murder. <laughs> if she witnessed a murder while her most recent objective was to go take a shower. Okay, so, yeah. There's a clause, but it's still pretty funny. Oh my god, a murder! Hang on, let me take off all my clothes! Unfortunately, the teacher slides across the ground like they're walking on ice bugs still persists. Every teacher just wants to be an ice skater. Let them have it. RimWorld! New mental breaks. Insulting spree. Randomly go around and insult people. Targeted insulting spree. Follow around a specific other colonist, insulting them repeatedly. Isn't that just life in general? Just to go around and make fun of people? Cannibalism is harder on mood. It's harder on mood, but my mood is not cannibalism. So actually, yeah, cannibalism is harder on mood. It's a good patch there, RimWorld, good job. Some more of Crusader Kings 2. You can no longer ask someone you're an offensive pact against to embargo someone, as this would result in you ending up at war against yourself. But I want to fight myself. Informed the AI that we changed how decadence works years ago, and it shouldn't give titles to its family members just for the hell of it. Alright, now remember, you can't just give titles out for no reason. But I wish to, John, Lord of Coding. Well, wait, Lord of Coding? Well, well, I guess it'll be okay. Taught the Pope Geography 101 with an emphasis on what distance from Catholicism and size of kingdom means in the context of Crusades. And why this means that invading India when Egypt is right there might be a bad idea. Although he didn't understand it because he was old and he just made fun of me. AI made the Pope less reluctant to accept requests for excommunication. Yeah, I don't think this Catholicism is just for me. Can I, can I go? Yeah, what the hell? Fix an unlikely infinite loop when the adultery of dead people is discovered. The infinite loop of adultery of dead people. That is the name of a heavy metal song. If you manage to dedicate a book to your rival, they will now be strangely flattered rather than flattered. No longer possible to sacrifice the same person to Satan multiple times. I brought you your sacrifice, my lord. Hey, thanks, I was looking for- Hey, wait a minute. That's the same guy from last week and the week before that. You fucking hustling me, boy? Immortal characters should no longer die when making love too fiercely with their spouse. Oh no, there's something magical about the term fucking the immortality out of you. Stardew Valley, petting a fully happy animal no longer wraps happiness around to zero. Oh, <laughs> that's a good patch to fix. I don't like the idea of giving my animals so much love that they just immediately hate me again. It'd be like if every animal on the earth was a cat. Fortnite Battle Royale. Players will no longer fall through the world if they are eliminated while jumping. No, 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 no. That's a fun glitch. Just leave that one in. Because there's something mildly satisfying about the idea of a player jumping immediately into game, getting shot, and then you have to watch them pass through the world. That is magical. Player Unknown's Battleground, aka PUBG. Fixed a bug that enabled a character to hold a main weapon and frying pan simultaneously. Oh, Rapunzel's gonna be mad. Fixed a bug where an uncooked grenade could explode if a character was knocked out while holding it. That's why you properly cook your grenades at the right temperature. Fixed a bug with the honking sound were made persistent when opening the map or performing other actions while honking. I think you should just make the honk more obnoxious. You know what? Here. Here, here here's the honk. Somebody should, somebody should just mod this in. <laughs> Fixed an issue where the starting airplane became immobile in Sky at the very start of a round. Fixed a bug that caused other players' voice chats to be heard at high volume on the airplane. Oh, rest in pieces, headphone users. Hey man, you ready for the match? Yeah man, let's get in there and some fuck some shit up, you know what I'm saying? Not, not a clue. Moving on to Don't Stop Together. Fixed bug where were pigs sometimes fail to transform back to normal pigmen. That is a Studio Ghibli movie in the making right there. Fixed bug where poop thrown by a Monkey can land and stay outside of valid ground. 
there's a there's certain grounds that Blue Monkey can only throw his fecal matter. Now on to The Sims 4. Sims in the painter career will no longer be able to sell the paintings directly from the walls of the museum. Suspects that were locked in a cell will still be locked in the cell when you return the next day and not standing outside. Hey, can you come get me? Yeah, they let me out. Yeah, they just put me outside. I don't know why they did that. Cool. Can you get some McDonald's on the way? Dogs should no longer stretch into horrible monstrosities that only a Demogorgon from the other side of Hawkins could love when attempting to grab a toy from the toy box. Was it? Was it a Strangest Things reference? Getting a preventive shot for your pet will no longer put them in a state of perpetual fear. I wish that would work on actual dogs. Poor Zeke hates veterinarians with a passion. Going forward, home models will no longer cause family-wide relationship amnesia. Well, we helped the Hendersons put up their new bar room. Let's go see what they think of it. Who are all these people in my house? Oh, crap. We have another one. Playing your old save should no longer result in a mad rush for the restrooms. Ooh. Your bladder's getting a little determined there, isn't it? Angry writers will no longer only have the option to write furiously when choosing to write a genre book. I just love the idea that somebody would open up a book and it just says, ah! Now if you're taking a selfie, you will be holding a phone. Because, you know, it should have been something that QA should have looked at ages ago. Vampires can now date. I have plenty of movies that can give you examples as to why dating vampires is a bad idea. Hey, look, it's Connor Exiles! Players can no longer use chairs to travel great distances. Player corpses can only be harvested for religious purposes once every 30 minutes. Greg, why are you, um, why are you standing over that corpse while holding another corpse in your hands? Oh, don't worry, it's for the Pope. Rhinos should no longer try to walk through players. Rhinos can walk through humans in real life because they're rhinos. I think that was a glitch that needed to be fixed. Oh, good house party. Fixed an issue where you could still chat with an NPC if you died while talking to them. <laughs> Dave? Dave, you okay? I am okay. You have a bully one through you, Dave. Are you sure you're... Are you sure you're, like, alive? Let's go. Fixed a bug that caused characters to spin with enthusiastic anger when they forget how to use a door. How's it going, Dad? I forgot how to use a door! Staying away from the alcohol, Dad. Improved drunk mechanics. So you made them sober? Stellaris! Breaking a guarantee no longer creates a bilateral truce. Woohoo! It is no longer possible to technologically enlighten fanatic xenophobe primitives. <sighs> Getting topical, aren't we? And finally! Rust! Bucket no longer hostile to peacekeepers. Don't worry, my fellow pacifists. No longer will the bucket ever get you again. Wow, that was a fun round of patch notes. My throat hurts. I'm gonna go lay down now. Bye!